In 2012, the Americas Rugby Championship was to have been hosted in the capital city of Buenos Aires, Argentina. But what with the pressures of a first year in the newly expanded rugby championship, a late decision was made to switch the hosting duties to Canada. And so it was, with just under two months' notice, that Langford, located within Greater Victoria, would welcome Argentina, Uruguay, and the USA for the unique round-robin event. While there was plenty of rugby to keep the players occupied, the natural beauty of the host city, nestled at the tip of Vancouver Island on the Pacific Ocean, offered a unique opportunity for members of the Argentina squad to go whale watching on a day off. Conditions were rough, but the players did manage to catch sight of sea lions and a humpback whale with its baby. For hosts Canada, the ARC was a chance to showcase its new center of excellence in the Victoria suburb of Langford. Two years ago, the town council made Rugby Canada an offer it couldn't refuse, creating a purpose-built stadium and offices where future Olympians from across the country can now train at in the newly centralized National Team Training Centre. It is also where the city of Langford has built its love affair with rugby, in a country that reveres a different sport played on ice with sticks and skates. Over three doubleheader match evenings, nearly 8,500 fans turned out to support Canada in their quest to win the fourth America's Rugby Championship. You know, probably a uh, benefit for the rugby program in Canada from this having this tournament here is not so much the results, but the uh, fact that, you know, the uh, MyRB gave Canada this tournament. Canada's shown that it can run a tournament like this, and the support's been great, and there's probably a lot of people who haven't seen a game of rugby at this sort of level have been able to come out and watch and been you know, uh, been exposed to it, so you know, the legacy of that sort of uh, exposure is a thing that's going to live on from this tournament. Connor Braid is a Victoria native who at age 22 has had a pair of test appearances for Canada. He views the challenge of playing the development sides from the US and two South American sides as a great chance to grow as a player and a rugby nation. The speed of the game, uh, I think they're learning that, uh, you know, at which we can play it. Um, club level, obviously, you've got guys who aren't you know, as good players or aren't, you know, mentally there or just sort of having some fun. So uh, this is a good scenario for guys to kind of learn the pace of the game and really step up and start playing some, uh, some fast, hard-hitting rugby. IRB Regional Development Manager Tom Jones speaks glowingly about Langford. Well, it's, it's uh, really been very excellent the way it's gone. This is a capacity crowd today. We've, the crowd has grown. It's not, uh, it's a new facility. In a new market, and here we have uh, the place, people coming in an hour and a half before the game. It's going to be packed, it's going to be rocking tonight, and we're very excited about it. Up first on this doubleheader night, the battle for third place. Uruguay versus the USA, both teams looking for first wins in the tournament. The sides trade penalty kicks in the early going, and big runs with big tackles being put in by both sides. Here, American flanker Eric Duchelet scores the first try of the tournament for the USA. Conditions began to worsen, and the bigger Uruguayan pack gave the USA troubles, finally getting a penalty try for their efforts. A final score to put the South Americans clear. They finish in third place. In the second act, Argentina and Canada, both 2-0, looking to settle who will hoist the America's Rugby Championship Cup. A full house of passionate fans on hand at West Hill Stadium to urge on the home team. Canada's Connor Braid gets first points, but ultimately the Argentine attack is too much for Canada to handle. Canada nearly scores with some deft passing out to prop Hubert Bidens, but it would be as close as they get Argentina remain ARC champs for another year.